So the new Mac Pro is a joke, right? And I'm going to go into it from a perspective of somebody who uses a PC. And I don't care what you say. I use specific workloads. I do specific benchmarks. I do, spe I do specific programs that are only available on Mac. At this point, I would learn new programs. I would learn how to program in something else. I would learn how to use something else to do my workflow because the price is that outrageous. It's got an eight core part. It's got an eight core Xeon part. It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got... Um, 256 gigabytes of storage which is an absolute insult and a joke to anybody who spends six grand on a baseline mac the the the, the top price of this is probably going to be 30 or 40 grand let's talk about that like because the fact of the matter is they're giving you an awful lot of hardware an awful lot of grunt and an it is by far probably the fastest full build system you can build anywhere. If it, there w if it wasn't for the DIY sector where you could actually do it yourself and put a hack and do a hackintosh and put your own own version of of Mac OS on that PC, well then there wouldn't it wouldn't seem that stupid. But it's absolutely ludicrous. It's crazy. It's like the the fact that they're giving you two hundred and fifty gigabytes of storage, two hundred and fifty six gigabytes of storage in a base mine six grand product is just an absolute like and six thirty two gigabytes of RAM while a lot is not that not a lot for a six grand system while uh, eight cores is quite a lot for a pro uh, you know PC it's not a lot for a six grand system if you were in the PC world doesn't matter about pro stuff because a Xeon does nothing other than give you access to ECC memory nothing error correcting memory it does nothing other than that the the, the, the performance of an eight core part on desktop is actually better than an eight core xeon part because the clock speed is higher from intel so you got a five gigahertz all core turbo 9900k on desktop and you've got what like a 4.4 a gigahertz single core turbo but like 3.2 gigahertz base clock fucking um xeon part that means that your 9900K will be significantly faster than the Xeon part. They just use Xeon to justify the crazy prices. They use Pro to justify these crazy prices. They use Pro to justify what they're going to sell you, which is expansions. They're going to sell you all these generic expansion cards. They're going to make themselves, I guarantee you, and they're going to slap an Apple tax on them and charge you a fortune for them. They, 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 they use 256 gigabytes of entry space to force you to upgrade the memory, which they slap an Apple tax on for, on top of. They use 32 gigabytes of RAM, knowing that, that for a normal desktop user, that's more than enough. For, for a pro user, it tends to not be enough. For me, it's just about enough. I have 32 gigabytes of storage in my in, uh, 32 gigabytes of, of RAM in my personal system with, with a Threadripper 2950X, 16 cores, 32 threads, running at 4.4 gigahertz, a Radeon 7, which is essentially going to be the same as whatever that Pro version of Vega 2 that they're putting into this, this um, MacBook, Mac Pro. I keep, nearly keep calling it MacBook Pro. The Mac Pro, they're going to be putting essentially a Radeon 7 with more memory and in a dual version of the Radeon 7 on one card. So it's going to be two Radeon 7s on one card. But the Radeon 7 costs 700 quid. My entire PC without the monitors costs about four grand. That's about three grand. With the monitors costs about four grand, right? That's how much 4,000 euro which usually is the same in, do in dollars so about four thousand dollars for my entire setup that's two 32 inch monitors 1440p a piece 144 hertz on this one uh, this one's a quite a nice monitor this one's not that nice now this one looks better because it's tilted towards the screen but long story short i use i do a youtube channel i do a bit of video editing i do all that kind of stuff and i would just learn to do something different than what mac is trying to because it's just ridiculous now apple are ch charging like this is this is essentially the price like they've just decided that we're just going to raise prices on everything like you just see like apple the, the keynotes have tend to have you can see it now it's just a, they they tell you all these amazing specs and they bamboozle you one after another after another. 30, 28 cores 1.5 terabyte teraflops uh, terabytes of memory you know so 50 million gigabytes of storage expandability in this beautiful stainless steel 5k display blah blah, blah. and i just go on and on and on about all the specs and you go whoa that's really impressive and you're just waiting for the shoe to drop because at the end then they give you the price and they give you a price of a very very new earth computer they give you the starting from $5,999, which is six grand. So they used a $5,999 as if that one dollar makes a difference. It makes you seem like you get a bargain. But at the same time, I understand the reason it's marketing. Like people see the first number and I understand. But like $5,999. 
starting with an eight core Xeon, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I did the price comparison for how much an eight core part would cost if you were using it in AMD part, for instance. An AMD uh, would, would outperform the Xeon stock for stock, right? They would just outperform the, 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 Aeon part, the AMD part. 970 quid is how much it costs you to build a PC with eight cores, 16 threads, 32 gigabytes of memory, uh, and it, two, 256 gigabyte SS, NVMe SSD, and a 256 gigabyte ssd so essentially 512 gigabytes of storage a decent power supply and an or x580 which is essentially what the or the radeon pro x580 or whatever 580x is so essentially the exact same specs with actually a little bit of an upgrade in performance for one sixth the price that's why it's an insult it's a joke uh the 5k display there's there's a couple other things which i noticed that i don't think anybody else noticed you're getting uh six six expansion slots on the new mac six i have about 25 <laughs> expansion slots on my pc like literally i've about 12 usb ports on the back and like you know all different kinds of audio in and out and i've got you know uh five four usb uh ports on the front and the usb type c port on the front and i've got all the you know headphone microphone jacks all that kind of stuff on the front and loads of that stuff on the back as well uh, i've got wi-fi built in bluetooth built in uh, and ethernet all that kind of stuff built into my pc and it costs three grand to build it's just an insult and my pc would be significantly faster than maybe even the the next step up of the the pro so for me, I would just learn to buy a new, learn to use another operating system or learn to use another program. Because for me, I just don't understand why people would pay six grand for a PC. I, I just don't understand it at all. I, I, if you have to have a Mac because you use specific types of, of workloads and softwares and all that kind of stuff, just learn something else because this is fucking ridiculous now. It's, it's getting out of hand. The fact of the matter is the top end of these could probably be a deposit on a house. You know what I mean? Or a very fucking decent car. Like, it's just outrageous it's absolutely outrageous it's a joke and it's it's laughable and the fact that you've got four usb ports and two usb type c ports on a six grand pc is a joke that's built for professionals you want all those ports you want all that now apple just wants you to cover your whole desk in dongles that's what they want you to do because the dongles give them more they get more revenue out of the dongles because they have to they get a they get for every third party thing that's made they get licensing and they get all that kind of stuff and they just get a kickback and it's just that's what they want the 5k display looks amazing it's a pro it's definitely a bargain as a display is but then you look at the stand and the stand is like fucking one grand so for a piece of aluminum with a bit of a hinge uh apple have decided that aluminium costs for maybe two kilos of aluminium costs about you know a grand that's how much it costs for a piece of aluminium that's how much the apple tax is that probably costs maybe 20 quid to make in some place in china and they're going to charge you a grand for it it is an insult i understand the reasoning behind it they probably wanted to call it charge six grand for the for the hit but then they want to off because most pro most pro users don't actually use the stand included with the monitor they usually have their own stands and gimbals and all that kind of stuff and they just you know they can so most people so you it looks like a bargain taking a grand away from the price but for me it just it's it, it's an absolute insult it's a, just a joke and that's why like i just it, like i used to use iphones and um, you know people always talk to me oh paul you're not an apple fan and you've got iphones like I used to use iPhones, yeah, right? Because they were like the best phones out at the time. Do you know what I mean? But like, I, I moved away from them and I went back recently just to see what all the hubbub was about and I didn't like them. So I went straight immediately back to Android. Like I just don't like I, I, iPhones. But you can understand the appeal, by, appeal from them. They're, they just they just work. They're absolutely fantastic. They're really fast phones, never really slow down. Like I have an iPhone 5S here and I guarantee you if I like, that's not a 5S, a 5S here guarantee if i like if i like boot that up and put all my stuff in it, i'd still be usable today like that's that's how good apple products are tend to be but for a six grand product you can go and ask me arse to be honest it's just ridiculous uh, not that i would ever use one i just seen it being announced yesterday and i thought it was an absolute joke there are people that are going to defend this there are people that are going to say that the reason why they need it is for specific applications and specific workloads and all that kind of stuff and you don't that's just a simple answer about it you don't you, you just don't need it you, you're, you're lying to yourself you want that status symbol of 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 glass and aluminium on your desk but you don't need it like you can like you can have a big tempered glass monstrosity on your on your desk there you go lights whatever you can take away the lights and you can just make it bland and 
you know aluminium and glass you could do that there that that case cost 300 and something quid you can do whatever you want with pcs and do it yourself i'm not arguing which platform is better windows or mac i'm arguing that mac has become so fucking expensive even on the laptops that it's cost prohibitive prohibitive to go that way it's just like you either need to be earning a hundred grand a year and be on like you just want to stay the symbol or just move like there's no reason why anymore there's just no except like it's become so expensive that the time invested in learning something else would actually save you money in the long run because if you're gonna build a 30 grand pc like not 30 grand pc sorry 30 grand mac you're gonna buy a 30 grand mac well if you just learn to use another piece of software for a couple of hours or a couple of weeks and become proficient at that and build your own pc you're saving about 20 grand so just do that like it doesn't it's not saving you money anymore the reason why you buy a big powerful pc is so that you can render out and it can it, it can it can speed up your workflow and if it speeds up your workflow it saves you money in the long run and usually then there's a you know well i'll pay all the money i can to get my workflow sped, sped up because there's so much horsepower on the pc as well it just doesn't make any sense like a 28 core xeon there are 32 core threadripper parts which handily beat them they're just faster there are you know there are boards out there you could or you can even buy the xeon part and probably build a pc based around that 28 core there's a there's a desktop version of that 28 core which has all the ram expansion and all that kind of stuff and you could probably do that and have like ridiculous amounts of memory in it you could do all that yourself and it would probably be significantly cheaper it's just rip off it's a joke it's an insult <laughs> like I, I i don't understand why people still buy apple products anymore um the the, the iphone made sense when it was 600 quid because it was like the premium product it made sense when it was 750 quid because it was a bit more premium uh a thousand a thousand twelve hundred quid phone doesn't make any sense the top spec apple iphone now costs you 1500 quid it's it's, it's insane a top spec uh laptop now costs two or three grand from from apple can cost up to five or six grand for for a laptop from apple like that's car we're talking car money now you know we're talking we're talking buy a decent laptop from a from a competitor and go on a dream holiday that's what we're talking that's the difference like you could buy a two grand razor you know stealth which is six cores 12 threads fucking 64 gigabytes of ram and a decent decent nvidia gpu for two grand and then go on a tra caribbean hol holiday it's just outrageous and like i don't understand why people buy them and if you buy them then make your excuses down in the comments because it'll be funny i'm gonna press this button to stop recording don't forget to like comment share and subscribe oh yeah do the like and subscribing and all that stuff and i have a patreon i forgot to do my like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it but if you disliked it tell me i disliked it because i can't fix it if i don't know what i did wrong and in the comments let me know what you think of the new mac pro i know a lot of my 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 subscribers don't really watch like apple content they're not really that interested in apple content but i just had to cover it because it's crazy it's it's outrageous it's probably the most most expensive price hike i've ever seen not even a price hike it's just the most expensive markup on consumer grade products like these are not stuff that you can't buy yourself and put together yourself these are things that you could buy yourself and put together yourself and the markup is just exorbitant and that's what i thought was hilarious is that oh, the, the amount of profit that apple are making on these is outrageous and it, it's all a symptom of the times of apple not remembering how to sell compelling products because while this looks pretty decent and it gives everybody that used to have a mac pro what they want from a mac pro in the expansion expansion and all that kind of stuff and the modularity and it's you know it looks more like a desktop pc again they've really charged you for the privilege and it's hilarious like the lowest spec mac pro is just it wouldn't even be considered a good pc like like i'm 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 a gamer let's say right and I, i'm a video editor as well it wouldn't on the pc side of things it wouldn't even be considered mid-range <laughs> and they're charging six grand for it and a high-end pc would cost about two grand so the fact that this is not even considered mid-range in the pc world the specs in it is not even considered mid-range in the pc world and they're charging you way above like you know like extreme enthusiast really high-end price would you would like there's nobody who spends six grand on the in the desktop world to do that you would have to buy a two grand processor you know you have to buy gigabytes of ram like fucking 
128 256 gigabytes of ram uh loads and loads and loads of nvme storage it'd just be crazy you'd have to be on an intel h hedt part 18 core part with uh, filling up all your ram slots with the highest capacity ram you could get and buying two radeon sevens like it just and you still wouldn't get the six grand and you could have a very good monitor anyway I'll talk to you in the next one don't forget i have a patreon and sharing is always the most important i'm gonna press this button to stop recording bye 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 bye, bye.